supposed to just release our life force. God, talk to the gods. We're not supposed to do it, but we do. I've been guilty of it myself, so I wouldn't touch you. All right? I get it. It feels damn good. But you have to understand these human beings want to, want to keep us locked in our root chakra. You see what I'm saying? Cement is literally life force. Shut it out three times. All right? But semen is life force. So we have to understand this. All right? Semen is life force. And it runs all through you. Do you know that if you don't release no semen, you think women want you? Boy, you gonna be radiating on the level, boy. You gonna get, you gonna get so much, if you wanna call it pussy, so much pussy gonna come to your inbox or come your way because you have not released your life force. So by retaining your life force, you increase your magnetism and your strength. That God is whether she's in tune with herself or not. She not even gonna know why she find you attractive, nigga. She just gonna yeah. to you. You feel me? And that's just not just your mate, but nature around you. Nature around you. When you're retaining your semen and while doing it, you're going to realize things about yourself that you never knew. And when you go into your meditations, your meditations are going to be more deeper and more powerful than ever before because you are saving life force. Your life force comes from your astral body. Which is your real body. It's the energy and plasma from your electrical body. Your real body. That's what semen is. And this same life force. Your astral body. Is this how you astral project. Remember y'all keep asking me. What's a shooting star? Why do we see shooting stars? Those are beings. Us astral projecting. Through the sky. It looks like a fucking shooting star. Because you ain't nothing but a beacon of light. Electricity and energy and plasma, that's what you is. And you take on formations. So this is what I'm telling you to the gods. You have to retain your life force. Right? And it's not going to be easy. So I'm not saying, you know, we stuck in this matrix. I get it. And you're going to hear a lot of the gods. Like I told y'all, we back. So we giving y'all the information. We all here. But some of us are being, have already been activated to wake up others like myself. Like many more of you. I've been activated to activate y'all. All 206 of y'all, if y'all in here on the right energy, should be going to activate more people. We are heat, literally. We You are. That's all you are at your base form. That's what makes you a God. You are nature. So as being a God, all right, you got to get back to nature, empowering yourself. Semen comes from your astral body, right? Your astral body has light around it, full of number electrical energy. It's your real body. And that's where semen comes from. But it drips down through your crown chakra. It comes out of your sacral chakra. It runs through your whole body. That's why you feel it. That's why it feels so good. Because it goes through your solar plexus and it rotates your solar plexus like that. That's why when you're finna release semen or have a, or a goddess finna have an orgasm, she, it's a full body experience down there, or you get that feeling that build up, that's what's going on. Your astral body, which is your real body, is sending secretions through your this body. This ain't your real body. You are not this body. You don't even have a body. You have an astral body, which is a light body, an energetic body. You are a field of fucking energy. You are a, a, an intelligent field of electricity, plasma, and dark matter energy. That's what you is. And intelligence is what allows you to create whatever you want. You created this whole galaxy, this whole realm. So as a god, god and goddesses, all right? This whole fucking multiverse. Practicing this semen retention is going to be a challenge, but you can do it. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. Listen, I had to show y'all that message from the legendary Rashad Jamal. Free Rashad Jamal. Because listen, bro, we already know that's why he locked up anyways. Because he was waking too many people up. You know what I mean? He know too much. And they know that he know too much. That's why they tried to silence him. That's why they silencing him, bro. But through videos like that and 
you know, a lot of spiritual content creators, they keep in his voice in the algorithms. They keep in his videos in the algorithms. So that's exactly why I'm sharing that now, because Rashad Jamal is next level. You know what I mean? Next level. You talking about Andrew Tate and Kevin Samuels. No, no. Rashad Jamal is the fucking spiritual version of them times 10. And he's a fucking problem to them. Because it's just like he said, bro. They want to keep us locked in that root chakra and control us. We easily control that way when we thinking in the gutter. You know what I mean? When we thinking and, and, and living life through this matrix and only thinking about this worldly shit. They don't want you to know this type of info that he pushing. They don't want you to know the power that you have. You know, instead, they're going to keep putting out all these frequencies and things in front of you to make you release that. You know what I mean? They want to keep you in fear. They want to keep you releasing your energy. They want to keep you lusting. They want to keep you sick. They're going to continue to do this until we wake the fuck up and understand what we possess. That's all he's saying. That's why I know that clip was long. But listen, bro, I learned something just watching that. Every time I watch Rashad Jamal, I learn something new. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to get what he's saying. You got to know what you have. And you got to know what it is they trying to do. You know, it's no different from when we talk about succubus women. That's, that, that's trying to drain us of everything, bro. These elites think the same. You know what I mean? A lot of people, not even just the women and the elites and the people around you. Like he said, these humans want you to stay locked in your root chakra as well, bro, because they can use your energy when you do that. You know what I'm saying? They can manipulate you when you do that, when you locked in there. You know what I mean? Because you're not unlocking any of your other powers. You just stuck down there in that low vibrational state. You know, where you in fear, where you are lusting, you know, where them demons dwell at. So you ain't go, you know, once you locked in there, bro, you not unlocking shit else. Your senses ain't going to be working like I'm trying to tell you, like I be trying to tell you, bro. You know what I'm saying? So why you think they try to put all of these distractions in our face? Why you think they want us just constantly chasing money? Why you think they want us in fear? Why you think they keep, you know, poisoning us through this water? Poisoning us through this food? You know, pretty much doing shit that's going to close our third eye to where we can't even, you know, meditate deep enough or think deep enough past the shit that they put in front of us. So why you think it's so many people that's hypnotized and possessed in darkness, you know, just can't figure shit out, bro. You know, it's because they haven't been hip to themselves and in tune with themselves to know exactly who they are and what type of being they are. You know what I mean? And what they possess in the inside, in the inside of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, I, that's why I had to share that clip, man, because... You know, that's why we retain. You know, we not retaining. Even though it's true what he's saying, we not even retaining for the attraction. That's why he said it's not even just with these women. It's where everything is with nature. We radiate out there in nature. So when we come around, it's like everything, bro. Like, it's like when, when I would go outside. You know what I'm saying? When I be in the Rose Garden, I get out there and it just feel like my whole vibe would change. And then I could feel the energy just in nature, in the wind, in the sky. Y'all done witness sometimes when I went out there, the clouds would get out of the way and then the sun would start beaming down. You know what I'm saying? So I felt exactly where he was coming from, bro, because we do radiate because that life force is inside of us where it belongs. You know, I'm not saying that you can't recreate and all of that shit, bro. That's what it's there for, to recreate, you know, in the physical, another life. But if you're not doing that, you can't help but to ask yourself, what am I releasing for? When I know I'm my best me with this inside of me, I'm my healthiest me with this inside of me, I'm my most logical, I'm, I'm at my most logical state when this is inside of me. 
but I'm not when I release it. So why, why do I keep releasing? Why am I releasing it in females that don't deserve it? Why am I releasing it to pornography? Why am I releasing it and wasting it just to be wasting it when I know that I am better inside? I am better when that's inside of me. You know what I'm saying? If you think about, if you think about a light, a flashlight, bro, that flashlight ain't gonna work without no batteries in it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna work without no batteries in it. So you gotta think about that when it comes to your life force, bro. You know. You want, you want one battery or two battery. It might be a little dim with one battery in there, but with both batteries, bro, that light is shining bright. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you need this. I am better with it than without it. I am better with it than without it. I am my best me when I have my energy. Not when I give it to porn, not when I give it to these females, not when I give it to succubus women that don't deserve it. I am the best me. I am better with my life force energy. I am me with my life force energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not half of me. I am all of me with this inside of me and the best of me at that. You know, with all of my senses working, all of my chakras operating how they should. I can think clear, I can see clear. You know, I could tap into my higher self with this energy. I cannot just be controlled by any and everyone when I have my energy inside of me. So why you think they wanna take it out of you? Why do you think these demons work so hard? Why you think the devil works so hard? Why you think these females get so upset when you not lusting? Why you think a lot of these women, these succubus women, these golden, why you think they get so upset when you not lusting? Because they know when you lusting, bro, when they know you locked in your root chakra, they could use you and get whatever they want. They could get the time. They could get the money. They could get the attention. They could manip you, manipulate you into doing the things that they want you to do. You are like a dog with a leash on. That's what you gotta understand, bro. You are like a dog with a leash on and the women are holding the, the, the leash. The elites are holding the leash because they're gonna control you. And so they're gonna put these distractions in front of you and they're gonna control you by putting these women, putting porn out there. You know what I mean? And they using these chemicals and shit and using fear so you not thinking about you. You know what I mean? Because when you in that state, bro, you just going to want to feel good because you so stressed. You know what I mean? On top of that, you lusting, you horny because they got all of this shit in front of you. You know, they putting all this shit on your social media. They want you constantly thinking about sex. They putting shit on TV and all of that shit. So you, you, if, if you giving into that, bro. That's all you going to be thinking about doing because you're scared. The fear got you. You know, you're horny. You know what I mean? The chemicals in you from the bad food, that's affecting you psychologically. You know, so that's why it's important for us to wake up and understand what we do have. We want to keep this radiation. That's the glow. When we radiate, that's the glow that he's talking about in there, bro. And like I said, bro, we better with this than without it. That's why we feel so bad because it feel like, you know, like, like somebody took the batteries out of our flashlight and we can't see. You know what I mean? But before, when we had both batteries, when we had our life force energy, we knew exactly what we needed to do. We knew exactly where we was going. The plans was in place and we was making way through that. And then when we end up losing the battery, when we end up releasing or whatever, we end up relapsing or giving into this shit, we just feel like shit. We feel empty inside. You know what I'm saying? But that's what makes us so special because we can get it back. And then next time around, we gonna think before we do that shit. We gonna have, we gonna put up a better fight. We going and that's what it is, bro. We just fight in the flesh. You know, we are avatars. It's like he said, bro. We not even in, the, we not even this body, bro. First, I'ma get on my grind. Then second, stop wasting my time. On shit less important. If ain't about money, I'm going the other direction. And third, I'ma do what I gotta to eat. Fourth, I'ma sew up the streets. 
fifth, I'ma never quit dropping this heat. So as long as I'm breathing, you better get used to me. Sixth, I'ma get.